morning. So I didn't get a chance to unpick this last night, so I'm gonna do it now. Figure out how much fabric I need and what I need to buy, and then I'm gonna head to Spotlight and get what I need. And luckily enough, I had some junk mail through from Spotlight and there was a 20% off voucher in it, so that was good timing. So while I'm unpicking this, I thought I'd have a little chat to you about an idea I had this morning. So yesterday at the start of the video, I was saying how I felt like art and creativity was a bit pointless given what's going on in the world at the minute. So I, I was thinking about it last night and, and I had some lovely comments from people and I think the opposite's true. I think art and creative stuff at the minute is more important that, than ever, um, especially for our mental health. If you've watched my videos for a while, you know that I've had bouts of depression and anxiety and honestly, the, with everything going on in the world at the minute, it's kind of, it's kind of, I'm teetering on the edge of going back to that. So I think art and creativity is one of those things that we can use to help with our mental health. And I think that's true regardless of what's going on in the world at the minute. I think creativity is important for mental health anyway. So I was in the shower this morning. I don't know, do you do your best thinking in the shower? I do so much thinking in the shower. And I was thinking, what if I did an event, I put on an event where anyone can come along and just be creative for the day. And it doesn't matter if you're good at it. I think there's so much focus on being good at stuff and making money from it and having a side hustle and all this. And I think that a lot of the times we we don't create because we think we're not good enough. And I think creativity should be about the process and having fun and not about necessarily the quality of the end result it doesn't matter if your drawing's a bit crap because it's the fun and the pleasure of doing the drawing that's important or it's the fun and the pleasure of singing that's important or dancing whether it looks good or not I think we've got to stop judging ourselves and so my idea is to put on a big old event here in Canberra that anyone can come along to and be creative and have fun and be distracted from world events and um, maybe have, like, this is literally me thinking out loud saying all this, maybe have people who are pros or specialists in their field that can help people who just want to have a go at painting or singing or dancing or whatever. So we can sort of divide into groups, right, go, all right, so you want to sing a song, let's go, there's a musician, they can help show you what you can do to have the confidence to just sing regardless of what it sounds like or let's do let's do a, a play let's write a play and put a play on it doesn't matter if it's good it doesn't matter if it makes sense just do it just do it and then at the end of the day everyone does their little performance or show or we have a little art gallery and display and show what everyone's creative and created and hopefully inspire other people to get creative regardless of whether they've got a a knack and a talent for it just to show people that you can do it and enjoy it and have fun with it and it makes you happy it, art can make you happy watching other people doing art can make you happy and I think I don't, I don't want to get political but I think there's a lot of governments in the world who don't see the importance in art and don't invest enough in art but arts arts really important for everyone's mental health whether you taking part in it or just watching it. So that was my idea, create some kind of art event. I don't know how or where or the logistics or anything like that, but that's just my idea at the minute. And I think it might be a good time to revive my revolution. So a few years ago, along with some amazing friends, we started something called the Just Be Revolution, um, which was born out of seeing so many people too scared to be themselves or thinking that they weren't good enough based on their appearance like oh, because we're fed all these ridiculous beauty standards by the media all the time people are like oh, I, I, I'm too old I'm too fat I'm too whatever that people who aren't dressing how they really want to dress because they're worried about what people are thinking this so we started the um just be revolution to partly to encourage people just to have the confidence to be themselves and to be confident to be themselves without feeling like they had to change but also to encourage people just to be tolerant of others and to stop 
judging people based on appearances. So we we started it, we launched a website, we did our first event and then we all just got too busy um, to carry on with it. So it's kind of been been put on a back burner for a, well, God, probably a couple of years now. I, I had these this big idea for a fashion event a couple of years ago and it just never happened because again time and we got no money as well which doesn't help so um but I'm thinking I don't know the world seems to have got less tolerant since then there seems to be a rise yeah in the right-wing governments around the world which are sort of creating more division among people so I think maybe it's a really good time to revive the Just Be Revolution and while our governments are trying to divide us, we can bring ourselves back together and show them that they're wrong. That's my take on it all. That's my idea. So let me know what you think. Um, I'll link. Uh, there is a YouTube channel for Just Be. There's a website. I think I've taken the Facebook page down at the minute, but I'll put it back up soon. Um, the website is um, kind of minimal. I took all the products off there. We had some merch for sale and stuff, but I'll, I'll get all that back up there soon. And I think, yeah, given the current world climate, um, it's time to revive Just Be. So the name Just Be came from Just Be You, but I love it because you can put um, any other word on the end. So just be brave, just be bold, just be courageous, just be kind. So there's a, there's a lot we can do with it. So maybe this creative event can be Just Be Creative. Just be creative. Doesn't matter whether you're good at it or not, just enjoy it. So, yeah, so that's where my head is at today. Um, yeah, so I'm going to finish unpicking this dress now um, and then head to Spotlight and buy what I need. And then after that, I am going to Lily's school because it's the Talent Quest there today. So, Lil's auditioned for Talent Quest a couple of times in the past. I think she's done dances with friends and stuff. Um, this year she auditioned again with a dance with friends, but she also auditioned playing her violin and she's got through to the final with both of those acts. So she's in the final twice. I'm so proud of her. So one act is playing her violin and one act is dancing with her friends. Um, I think she said there was only three acts chosen from her whole unit, which is two year groups. So I'm so proud of her. So proud of her. And um, whether she wins or not, I'm just yeah proud that she because she gets a bit of stage fright when she plays her violin at her music school. So the fact that she's done this voluntarily and is going to get up on stage in front of her whole school and play her violin and then get up again and dance with her friends, I'm yeah I'm just so proud of her. So after I've been to Spotlight, I'm going along to watch her do that. So fingers crossed she does well. Not, not by well I don't mean winning just gets up there and does it confidently because that's that's the important bit so I'll let you know how she goes this afternoon okay I've been to spotlight I've ended up buying a whole roll of this lining fabric which is a really it's quite opaque for a white lining fabric and it's not too shiny um, it's got really nice weight to it it's, it's there what do they call it I'll find the name let me find the name for you Oh, it is their pongy poly lining um, and I bought 15 meters so I'm going to use this for the linings and the interlinings then I ended up buying a different red satin as well because it's a lot softer than the one I had so I think it'll make a better bias and because it's lighter I think it'll be easier to make the big bow from plus it's a little bit more shiny so once I've got the crystals on top I think that extra shine will be handy and I bought two zips so I bought a I bought an invisible zip but then I bought just a normal dress zip too in case the invisible zip isn't strong enough for the reduction that we're doing in this corset, sort of corseted dress so hopefully I've got everything I need to get on with the dress but right now I am at my daughter's school ready to see Lily perform in two acts in the talent competition. Hi I'm back in the studio Lil did so well in her talent show she played her violin beautifully she did two pieces um, and the teacher accompanied her on the piano, which was really good. She did both pieces from memory without the music, which was, she did, yeah, superb, absolutely superb. 
and then the dance that her and four friends did was really good as well i kind of seen lilla been doing little bits at home she'd um made these ice cream props from paper with a um polystyrene ball in the top it was so good they didn't win but it doesn't matter she's just proud that she got through and got up and did it and i'm proud of her for getting up there and doing it confidently and she was absolutely brilliant on stage so well done lily well done lily i love you and i'm proud of you so i guess that kind of links back to me talking about my creative event because kids are so creative and they're so fearless and they don't think about the end product they just enjoy the creative process and i think that's what we have lost as adults that we're so worried about the end result we forget to either enjoy the process or we forget that we can just do something creative without it doesn't matter how it turns out without worrying about how it turns out so hopefully this event will inspire and spark the inner creative child in everyone i think we can all watch kids being creative when kids just dance out in the middle of nowhere out of the blue and don't care what anyone thinks i think we all need to take a leaf out of their book and do things like that a little more so I put a post up on Facebook this morning just to my friends about the idea that I've had for this creative event and the response has been really good, really positive and um, someone's already offered me a space to use for it for free which is really really kind and generous so after Christmas and New Year, nothing's going to happen before Christmas and New Year, um, once Christmas and New Year are out the way I will firstly go and have a meeting with her and see if this is going to work um, secondly, work out exactly how the logistics of how it could work and thirdly, get Just Be up and going again. Um, I'm really excited about this. Yesterday I was so low and today the idea of actually doing something that will hopefully help people in a time of turmoil, especially um, the UK election results just came in as well. So. I won't even talk about that. I am. I'm from the UK. I live. I've been living in Australia for about 13 years, nearly. But yeah, I am from the UK, so it's still it 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 hurts when things like that happen over there. So yeah, that's all I'm going to say about it. So anyway, I'm not going to get any more sewing done this afternoon. Um, I have to get ready for a client coming soon, and then I've got another client first thing in the morning that I need to get ready for. So I'm going to leave that here for today. So. Let me know what you think of my event. Um, I'd like to make it, I've been thinking about this a lot while I was driving and stuff as well. I'd like to turn it into something that people who aren't in Canberra can join in with as well. So um, would you join in? Would you do something creative and share it with us on social media if I do this event? Let me know. Let me know your ideas, um, how you think I could add to this and make it even better. Um, go and check out um, the Just Be website. It's really old and out of date and needs an update, but go and check it out and let me know, know what you think about my little revolution as well, because that will be revived soon. And I will be back tomorrow or Sunday. I might do a two day one showing you the construction of the first step of the dress. So thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.